This is the automatic bottle opener designed to open bottles of varying height and width. Pop off and twist off bottles can both be opened with a opener such as this. Place a bottle in the center. Graspers close in on it. The vertical side will move down to detect the top of the bottle and then move up removing the bottle cap. The green button begins the sequence. The red button stops the sequence, putting it into a fault condition. To reset at any point, hit the green button twice. You plug it into any standard wall socket and hit the switch on the side to turn it on and off. The blue light will light, telling you that you have 124 volts power. And then the 124 volts gets sourced into two power supplies, 24 volts and 12 volts respectively. The PLC and all the limits run on 24 volts. The relays are also turned on by 24 volts, but the motors are run on 12 volts, hence the two different power supplies. This motor protruding out the side controls the vertical slide. It drives a timing belt off this pulley, which is attached on the inside with a clamp to move this up and down. The graspers have a high torque motor on the back pulling in on a cable like a winch. This cable pulls in on the inside of these two graspers to close it towards the center and they are returned with a spring. The limits are simple limit switches on and off which are fed into the PLC for indication and maximum stop settings. There are four relays mounted on the back panel. Two for each motor controlling forward and reverse action of both motors. Initial tests of just the slide proved very successful. This will open bottles very reliably, granted that the bottle is positioned properly and centered right underneath the opener. The graspers on the other hand fail to adequately grasp the bottle about 60% of the time. That and the motor chosen for this application or the application itself being a winch is not suited to grasp bottles. A linear actuator or some sort of worm gear acting directly upon the inside two arms of these graspers would better grasp the bottle and apply more torque with less damage to the motor. The gearbox and the grasper motor burnt out twice from being over torqued. Um, there's a warning on the manufacturer's website that says gear train damage can occur if stalled and it did. Um, it just has too much torque for the motor to adequately grasp the bottle and it's just not the right application. The basic frame is made out of prefabricated and pre-drilled aluminum segments sourced from servocity.com. The back panel is simply a piece of steel bent into a U-shape which allows all the components to fit on the inside. There's a piece of DIN rail running along the back which houses all the terminals, the PLC, and the relays. The on switch is simply screwed into the side via a cutout capped with a diamond plate cover.